Have you ever seen a headline saying the US is over $30 trillion in debt? Or heard someone say the government is broke or we're spending way too much? But seriously, why does the United States owe so much money? And more importantly, is this debt actually a problem? When we talk about America's debt, we're referring to the national debt, more specifically, the federal government's debt. Just like households or businesses, the government often spends more than it collects in taxes. When that happens, it borrows money by issuing treasury bonds. It promises to pay investors back with interest later and uses that money now. Right now, the U.S. national debt is over $36 trillion. That's more than the total value of everything the country produces in a year, known as GDP. In fact, the debt is about 120% of GDP. So if we owe more than we produce, why hasn't the country gone bankrupt? Because countries don't work like people. In many cases, taking on debt is a strategic decision. During crises like COVID-19, the government borrows to avoid economic collapse. Other times, debt helps fund infrastructure, education, and healthcare. Debt isn't the problem. The real issue is owing too much and not being able to manage it. So who is the U.S. actually borrowing from? Mostly from itself. Roughly 70% of U.S. debt is held domestically by American individuals, banks, mutual funds, and government agencies like Social Security. Foreign countries like China and Japan hold a smaller portion. Most of the debt is in U.S. dollars and under U.S. law. But is all this debt dangerous? Well, it depends. If the economy grows, tax revenues increase and the debt becomes easier to manage. But if growth slows, interest rates rise, and trust in the system drops, it can spiral out of control. It's kind of like a credit card. Responsible use is fine, but if you live off of it, the interest eats you alive. Can the U.S. ever be debt-free? In theory, yes, but in practice, it would require massive spending cuts or steep tax hikes. That would lead to protests, job losses, and political chaos. Plus, many investors, including pension funds, rely on government bonds for stable income. So the goal isn't to eliminate the debt completely. The real goal is to keep it under control. That means managing the balance between debt, GDP, and interest rates. A well-managed debt can help the economy grow, but unmanaged debt can lead to disaster. And remember, the U.S. is not alone. Nearly every country in the world is in debt. The difference is how each country handles it. Some borrow to invest in the future. Others borrow to survive the present. So yes, the United States owes a lot, but that doesn't mean the country is doomed. The question isn't how much we owe, but how we deal with it. Now that you know how national debt works, maybe think twice before sharing that post about America being broke. See you in the next video.